when a man mm, tells you this thing, like in the end, man just to, to tell you one of his fantasies or whatever, and he feels in that moment very ashamed and he feels ashamed for you. Or, uh, oh, he makes beautiful. you feel yeah. ashamed for yeah. doing that. They call it the so, Madonna yeah. whore complex. Yeah. Yes, yeah. so he makes you feel ashamed as a woman to do, to do that. And in the, in the end, you end up not doing it. Because you, you can feel that if you did it with him, he would look at you differently. Yeah. Welcome to this episode of Becoming Fearless. I'm here with the beautiful Aria. Hello. I'm here with the beautiful Alexandra. Hello. How are you ladies doing today? Are you, uh, we've, been, we've been literally filming all day and then we got this idea <laughs> that we want to do this question. It's an important question. And uh, before I get to it, uh, we are in Bucharest, Romania. Uh, these are beautiful Romanian ladies. And uh, the question is, what do you ladies feel uh, today's man doesn't want to tell women and why? Men hide a lot, hide their emotions a lot. Yeah. And I think this is one of the things that you can't get them talk about that easily. Like when you ask them, how do you feel right now? How do you feel about this? They, they just cannot figure it out what it, what it might be. What's their usual answer? I'm fine. I'm fine. That's okay. Yeah, true, true, true. It's a common answer. Yeah. And how does that make you feel? Like he doesn't care. You feel that men aren't allowed to feel today? Um, honestly, yeah, because it, for me, I see it from the perspective of a girl and I see the women I'm surrounded by. Some of them think like guys shouldn't feel heavy emotions. Guys shouldn't be like crying sometimes over something that upset them. It's like this constant pressure on them not to feel or okay, if they feel happy, yeah, cool. But like if they having like anxiety or fear, oh my God, they're not supposed to feel that. Not all of us are like that harsh when it comes to that. Um, even more, for example, I, and I think you relate to this too, uh, we're actually craving for that in a way. We want the deep and maybe heavy emotions sometimes. We want at least to be a part of that, a witness to that. So this is interesting because I find that most women do want the heavy emotions. Yeah, exactly. They're exactly. craving it, like from men. They're craving depth. They're craving feeling and men just aren't giving it to them. So it's interesting you say that. It's like a social image. Yeah. like a social construct if i'm saying this okay it's more like a like an image as girls have as women we have over guys like they're supposed not to cry or not to crack under pressure so it's more of an image but yes what i find is that when a guy cracks and he has real emotion and he owns it the, i haven't found too many women that don't like that in other words when he cracks and he gets needy they freak out women hate it it's like oh my god we're going to, everything's falling apart. Yeah, right? when it's and, projected onto you in a way. Yeah. But when he owns it and says, yeah, I'll handle it. I'm a man, but this is what I'm feeling. Yeah, that's kind of sexy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, yeah. And I find most women like that. Do you, do you what do you think of that? What, what's your feeling on that? Yes, I really like that, but I want to go back um, to what you said. I don't agree that women exactly, like you said, don't like that and don't agree with that. But I think it's more about the men and how men act between themselves. That when they are together, they're not allowed to feel. And maybe in private moments with, uh, with their women at home or wh where, wherever they are, they, mm, they get more open, but only in the moment they feel completely comfortable. Women love that because this is what makes them feel special. And so with the guys you're with, how often do you actually get that glimpse? I think how often you as a woman, you are ready there to to witness that, I think. At some point, they they shut off their emotions. Do you think they show you more in the beginning and then as the relationship goes on, they show you less and less? Yes, I believe that. Is that, has that been your experience too? Um, I would say the other way around, at least from my experience, is more like the guys are more stubborn at first into showing their heart, their emotions. But if they feel like it's a safe space or us as women create a safe space for them, they open up easier. I have a question for you. When they start opening up to you later, is it more needy or is it really grounded? Um, my personal experiences, they were pretty grounded, but uh, this on my personal experience with my boyfriend, but with friends, because I, I reached to a vulnerable place with some of my friends too, and uh, it was easier with them 
in a way, but they were a bit needy in a way. The friends, not the boyfriends. Now we're working on getting men to open up, which is really important because how many, you come to these workshops and how much more do the men in here open up than the guys you're used to? Uh, tons. <laughs> it, that's, I think, like the purpose of the whole, the whole workshop for them to like be completely seen and vulnerable and discover what they feel. Yeah. And how does that make you ladies feel when they open up to you? Actually, it feels a, a relief for us to like, because you see, you see the man that is struggling with so many things inside and you see in, in some, at some point how easy it might be for him to, to just express those feelings and, and, and tell them and like show how everything. Free yeah, how free, him. how free it could be. And in the moment you, you see him doing that, it's, 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 a, it's a satisfaction that, that you see. It's a, it's a feeling of freedom also for you because you're there in front. So what do you think men are hiding in there? I think a big part of what they're hiding in are bad experiences from when they were young because as a man you're not allowed to, to get it wrong, especially sexually. Like, of course, when you are a teenager, you get a lot of times things wrong when it comes to sex. And you, the, those, those experiences for some, for some men, they they traumatize them and they keep these this experiences inside and, and never talk about them because you just cannot go as a man to your friends and say whatever stupid thing, like whatever you got wrong. Yeah. Some of, some of the people tease them the most are their, their guy friends potentially and it's, it's the guys hold so much in. I suppress them. Um, yeah. So what do you feel? Um, in like, uh, to complete what she said, it's I feel like they're hiding a lot of frustration and anger and so much sadness. I've seen so much sadness once friends or uh, people very close to me opened up. And when I saw what's in their soul, I was like, whoa. Like for me, it really blew my mind. At the first workshop actually a few years ago, I was so, my mind was blown to see all those emotions stored in a person in someone's body it, it it really i don't know impressed me so when you're in the workshops and, and you get through this wall where the, where the men actually start to show you what's inside do you ever get surprised sometimes yes because it's like i'm talking to this person we're like maybe chatting out outside before the, the exercises and like he seems highly functional at some points and then we talk and i I hear this heavy story or like this big thing that is so important to him. And I was like, I had no clue that was there. And when the stories come out uh, and the guys actually start dropping the walls and get comfortable dropping the walls and not hiding their stuff, how, how much do they seem different to you? And they change completely. Yeah. yeah. But it's also, like I said, yes, when you talk with them outside and it's a normal life situation, yeah, you cannot necessarily notice. But in the first moment you start um, looking into each other's eyes, you kind of start feeling it, even yeah. though they, they don't say anything. Even you can pinpoint it. something. Yes. Yeah. So the looking into the eyes is, is the gazing work. We just start with a basic gaze, learning to feel each other's emotions. So, and as you said, so when they start the gazing, that's, that's when you start to feel it. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. because everything starts to settle. It's like all the thoughts start to settle, the emotions, and then you see what's under the surface, what's brewing down there. Yeah. And so what's that like for you when you first start to settle and you start to see what's going on? I get very, very curious and I, I'm waiting and I'm, I'm waiting for, for the emotions to build inside. I love the way you're talking about how men just hold all this inside and so there's all this body armor. As a woman, have you ever taken time to picture what that would be like for you if you did that? I think like we would explode like in one week. <laughs> I couldn't, I cannot wrap my mind around it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, but still every woman has her box of memories that she definitely, never opens. Definitely, but. And yeah, you, you play with a lot of emotions every day, but still there's a box there that yeah. nobody's ever gonna touch it or I don't know, yeah. it's hard to open. So let's talk about the two different types of guys we typically see in the workshop, right? We got the nice guys who typically feel a lot. Yeah. And we got the, the, the guys who wall off all the time. In my opinion, when I look at the nice guys, I think more like, yeah, they're sharing all these emotions, but they're really not. They're sharing what they want you to see or they think you want to see, you yes. know? True. But they're still doing the same thing as the other guy. They're just more evasive and elusive. What, what is that? Do you, do you agree with me on that? Do you think that's yes, they touch on superficial 
data to say so it, it, it's like they're talking about the emotions maybe some of them wouldn't like even do that wouldn't go there but like they talk but they didn't don't feel the emotion they put on a on a show they they have a character yeah. that they get mm -hmm. dressed in mm -hmm. How does that make you ladies feel when you see that? Somehow we feel that uh, he's misleading you with this. He's trying to to catch you into something. Yeah, he's, or he's trying to catch you, like he's trying to man manipulate you into manipulate. something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and what about the other guy? The the guy who just walls off and he's like, I'm I'm a man. I can handle it. I got it. And you ask him. You know, that's the guy you ask. You know, what are you feeling? I'm fine. I think that they bring more the femininity in in, in women that they like. I, I talk from my experience that in that moment I, I try harder to to get him to open and to get to his real emotions and it's something I don't know, but also triggers some mommy feelings I think like some mother feelings. And how about for you? Um, I find it pretty annoying. This is the first word that popped into my mind. It's is I am trying actively like to communicate, to connect with you, and there's this wall between us, and I don't like that. In general, when women are meeting men and they want to date, how much emotional access to the man do you really need to feel comfortable? I look more for if he's willing to do that. If I know that a little bit he showed at some point, then there's a there's something that I can work with. What happens if you start prying on that door and then it? wings wide open when it's projected onto me totally it's like oh you're the first person i'm open up to fix me do this oh my god this is amazing like you help me that type of a feeling would be like a bit too much it, it would have been done with um open heart and with groundness in a way with taking responsib responsibility for their own feelings that would have be, would be a nice process to watch and to witness that's good and and do you feel the same way? Yes, I feel exactly. So if a guy blasts open like that, and he's really grounded, and he owns it, like like he says, I'm feeling all this pain, I'm feeling all this sadness, I'm feeling all this emotion, but then he looks at you and he goes, and this is what I'm feeling, but you know what? I can handle it, I'm a man. Mm -hmm. What does that do? It's amazing, yeah. right? <laughs> like, it's super cool, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's attractive, it's sexy. So how often do you meet men like that? Uh, <laughs> pretty rare, pretty, pretty rare. Most men can't read women, all, everything that's going on with a woman. Have you ever met men that, or hung out with men that can really read your subtle cues and your emotions, what you're feeling, is almost as good as you can, yeah. or close to? Yeah. How does that feel? But two. <laughs> Just two. two. How does that feel? Um. Is it too much? Do you like it? No, because it's done in a very natural, it comes very natural. It's not like, why are you feeling this? It's not in a creepy, weird way. What's your feeling on that, if a guy can read you really well? Mm, it takes away a lot of my power, like, but it's also yeah, kind of kind of sexy because in that moment you, you give yourself somehow to, to the man. Yeah, true. If, he, if he's grounding and you trust yeah. him. Like, if, if you trust him, it's, it can... Be really sexy. What do you think guys are hiding around sex, sexuality, uh, sex with women? What, what, what's what's going on in that area? I think they uh, they keep a lot of sexual tension. They're afraid to step in it. I, I believe that there are two types of men in this, like men that don't tell you, uh, like they don't give you any sign that they're attracted to you. They keep it, I don't know how, uh, for themselves. And men that like tell you too much that like oh, in true, a bar, true. in a bar, like not not yeah. in general, but in a bar, and men come only only for that, and it's both of the cases like don't go well in the end because first one is misleading you, and it's like yeah, I met a, a nice guy, yeah, a, 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 one. yeah. Cool. <laughs> a new yeah. friend. Yeah, he wants to be my friend. Yeah. 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 And then how does he surprise it on you? How does he suddenly? Does he just bring it on you suddenly? Try to kiss you out of the blue randomly? Yeah, or things blues. like that. <laughs> grab your hand suddenly out of nowhere and it, I, now how long does it take him to actually show interest i'm super curious i mean you feel it that he's somehow interested or but you never think that he's actually gonna do something at some point and when he finds the, the courage to do it it's super disappointing also for you as a woman and for him and yeah. so when he does find the courage does it just come out of the blue yeah. It's usually a big surprise. Right? Yeah, it's kind of a surprise. Yeah. So th there's this thing uh, one of my friends, Zan, used to talk about. It's like you go on a date 
And I want to know if either of you ladies have had this experience. So you're on a date, he's at a distance, he's nowhere near you, he's not even touching you, he's like being super. And then out of nowhere, with no touch and no interest and no moving into tension or sexual tension, he tries to spring a kiss on you. Or he comes out of nowhere and he tries to do something. Has yeah. that ever happened to you? Actually, this happened to me in a club. I noticed a guy that was looking at me. Um, and exactly as you say, I saw it in one corner, then I was moving with my friends, like go to the bar, and then I saw it in another corner of the, not corner, but in another place. And before he looked at me, and then I, on the dance floor, he approached me and he was like dancing with me. I was like, what? And he tried to like hug me from behind, and I was like, what are you doing? Where, what? <laughs> you, you at least should have said hi or something, or at least do it a bit more smooth, not like out of the blue, as you said. How much do you think men are hiding on a sexual level? like? A sexual love. How much do you think they, their desires, their wants, their needs? Sometimes I feel that they're afraid to say their fantasies because they might be really crazy and they're afraid that they might scare you with, with them. And they, they prefer to, to, be, to keep it very superficial, to tell you very superficial things or to do superficial things. And has anything a guy ever told you scared you? The way he said it probably, yes. Probably. But like, yeah, no. the way he said it, true. <laughs> it's more about true. that. Like, otherwise, no. <laughs> So, so what, what do you want to say? Um, a word popped in my mind, uh, the fear of humiliation away of vulnerability, mm -hmm. because asking what you want for is a big way to show your vulnerability. So yeah, uh, to answer. Asking what you want sexually. Yeah, exactly. Sexually talking. How quickly do you know that they're lying? Do you assume that every guy that says stuff like that is really basic and sweet? I just want to hold you. I just want to kiss you. I just want to cuddle with you. Stuff like that, right? Yeah. How does that feel when they say that? Like, seriously? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly like, really? Yeah. You can feel right away in a way or another. It's the vibe of the person. So you can, the, li the lies, mm -hmm. he might say the lies, but you're like, I see the truth, the truth. So it's fine. Like, so, okay, so this brings up another question. You ever fallen for or cared about a guy that was hiding a lot of that stuff like you knew he's a nice he's kind of nice he's being sweet but i like him he's a good guy you ever dated a guy like that it's not fully owning his sexual nature and he's being sweet and he's you know you, you would never date somebody like that no, okay but you <laughs> I'm have. a bit different yeah i'm a bit more emotional to say so yeah it happened yeah. and at first it was i really liked him and we talked and like tried to i was actually i was the being i was being the one who was pushing a bit the boundaries and opening the talks and being very open, talking about fantasies and stuff. And um, afterwards, uh, I kind of gave up and then we broke up. So what you ladies are both saying is that you know these men want to do wilder stuff. You know they want to be dirty and naughty and like everybody really. Exactly, like us too. Everybody wants that. It's about who has not the courage. And it frustrates you that they won't say it. So if you could say something to men today about that, what would you say to them? There's nothing you could say to a girl that would truly scare her and she would say no. Like, if you say it as we talked earlier with the right energy, to be more courageous. There's another thing to that, like, when a man mm, tells you this thing, like in the end, man just to, to tell you one of his fantasies or whatever, and he feels in that moment very ashamed and he feels ashamed for you. Or, uh, oh, he makes beautiful. you feel ashamed for yeah. doing that. They call it the so, Madonna whore yeah. complex. Yeah. Yes. So he makes you feel ashamed as a woman to do to do that, and in the, in the end you end up not doing it. So how much more comfortable on average do you think women are with sex than men? Especially, I think in Eastern Europe, uh, women are less open to to this to to sex in general. But it feels like if we if we would had more opportunity, guys opening the way more for us we would have zero problems with this we would be like crazy if a man was really comfortable sexually and asked you about your fantasies and he had no shame or embarrassment about sex and didn't place that on women didn't make you like no you're, you're a sexual being just like i am you should enjoy sex how would that feel to you? He's like, and, and also he protected your fantasies and didn't run out and tell the whole world about them. So not only does he encourage them and say nothing you can tell me would make me uncomfortable, and he means it, and then he protects it, what, what would that do to you? That, that sounds like the perfect picture. <laughs> yeah, so many guys get so jealous and territorial, don't they? So let's talk about how, how territorial do you guys get? 
depends on the on the trust in themselves. Yeah, yeah exactly. You ever been tried to? You ever have guys try to? Uh, you feel like it's almost like if you even glance at another guy or you're his property or he wants to ever have that energy going on or you really for me no but i've seen a lot of that in my surroundings uh, there's this thing i always say like if you're going to take your your girl and you want to experiment and because I, I see this with guys i don't know if this has ever happened to you but let's say you want to go to like you, you a guy suddenly goes i want to go to a swingers party i've never been we should go we should go and he starts encouraging this idea we should go we should go and then he pesters you and bugs you and you're like, I don't know, this could be bad. And then finally it gets you to the swingers party and he say says, let's yes. go. And then he gets there and all of a sudden he's like, I don't know about this. We should leave. We should leave. <laughs> and he's like, he's getting jealous. He's getting nervous. Guys are looking at you and he's like, ah, uh, uh. and then, and then almost in every case, the woman's like, no, we should stay. <laughs> I can totally picture that. <laughs> Why would a woman do that? Why do you think? It's a place to explore there. It's, it's curiosity. It's but also he pushed for this, right? Yeah, yeah true. Yeah. And in a moment you put an idea into someone's head, yeah. you you build it and you yeah, start you wanting that. One Maybe you never wanted no. that. <laughs> you do your thing. And now, <laughs> is there any part of you that wants to, that gets the urge to test that insecurity in him? Like he pushed me here. I'm going to stay here for a little bit and watch him. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. There's That's a lot of teasing in there, of course. Yeah. <laughs> So in closing, I mean, I think this has been a great discussion. I love it. And I want to have more discussions like this. I think it's, it's really insightful and uh, digging deeper and deeper all the time. But is there anything you later want to say uh, in closing about this topic? I would say for the guys not to take the shortcut into having this armor we talked about and being cocky or arrogant or I'm fine, I don't feel anything, nothing touches me because that's that's in a way repelling and it's better to show your emotions no matter if they're a bit more heavy or even if you're always happy and show that to us, it it's much more precious to us than you being like, what's up? All the time. And how about you? Is there anything you want to say in closing? Yes, I would say that guys should pay more attention to what women want and what signals we give uh, to, to them. Because every no, woman true. every woman is different. So maybe some women don't want that many emotions. Some some women crave for more. But it's just it's not a recipe for, for everyone. It's being present. It's 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 yeah. just feeling the woman and feeling like those little signals that she gives you and what she wants. Well this is an important topic. How much do women really crave or need a man to just spend a little time, I don't know if it's every day, every week, every month, just being present with her, feeling her emotions, letting her know that he feels her? I think it's all about that. And it's not like you said, a day, a w an hour, a week, a month. It's just like maybe a moment when he's fully present there and it can be enough. Yeah, that's, I think that's super important. Quality over quantity, <laughs> always. Awesome. Well, thank you for Pleasure. doing this interview, ladies. It was awesome. Pleasure. It was really enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. We'll come up with some more topics for this. I think uh, we'll go a little deeper, a little deeper. Okay. And um, we'll come up with a fancy name. Maybe we'll have, I don't know. We'll, you guys give us the name. Put it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to um, uh, uh, remind you guys that uh, if you love this video, make sure to comment below. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like, what you want more of. If you want uh, more questions answered, give us some specific topics and uh, and let us know what you think of this topic. What are you hiding as a man? Or if you're a woman watching this channel, what do you think men are hiding? Uh, we answer all these questions. We love uh, answering them. So we'll definitely uh, be responding to what you write. With that said, um, remember to subscribe if you uh, haven't subscribed. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. And as always, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.